Hello and welcome to Lot 49. Today we're going to be looking at an article in the Geopolitical Economy. This one was written by Ben Norton, it was published four days ago, and it is on the Mexican president, AMLO, by his initials, um, has condemned uh, US threats of invasion and celebrates nationalization of oil and lithium in a, a rally in Mexico City. Mexico's leftist president AMLO condemned hypocritical Republicans who want the US military to invade, uh, declaring Mexico is an independent and free country, not a US colony or protectorate. And in it he also celebrated the nationalization of oil and lithium and condemned foreign exploitative foreign corporations. He used the demonstration as an opportunity to publicly condemn US politicians who have proposed militarily invading Mexico to combat the drug, tra the drug trade. Uh, he added that he wanted to make sure, make it clear that this is no longer the time of Felipe Calderon and Genaro Garcia Luna, but it is no longer the time of shady links between the government of Mexico and the agencies of the US government. He delivered this fiery speech on March the 18th at uh, probably going to wreck this, um, ruin this pronunciation, but Zocalo, the plaza in the heart of Mexico City. Government officially convened the event to commemorate the 85th anniversary of the 1938 oil nationalization by revolutionary former president Lazaro Cardenas. During the the event, he discussed the history of a Cardenista revolution and the lessons it provides for today. He praised the Cardenistas for challenging foreign corporations and defending national sovereignty while redistributing land to the poor, protecting labor rights, encouraging unions and forming an alliance with workers and peasants against the conservative oligarchy that had ruled Mexico during the dictatorship of Porfirio Diaz before the 1910 revolution. He made clear parallels between the government of the Cardenas and his own government today, between their nationalization of oil and his nationalization of Mexico's lithium reserves. Far right Republicans have called for the US military to invade Mexico. This month, a series of far-right US politicians from the Republican Party have called for the military to invade Mexico in the name of supposedly fighting drug cartels. Uh, extreme right-wing Congress member Marjorie Taylor Greene falsely claimed in March that Mexico cartels are planting bombs on our land in our country. Um, but Greene is far from alone. Dan Crenshaw man who looks like a villain from a James Bond movie has introduced that's kind of unfair if you've lost an eye um, has introduced multiple bills to authorize US military to attack cartels in Mexico legislation that Crenshaw introduced in January cites a 2001 authorization for use of military force which was passed a week after the 9-11 attacks in order to justify the US military to invade in an op-ed, Crenshaw compared Mexican drug cartels to ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Osama bin Laden, and Saddam Hussein. The Republican lawmaker also called for the US to impose sanctions on Mexico, one of its top three trading partners. So I want to move over now to this, a trading, econo trading economics report on the United States imports from Mexico and what the US would be missing out on if it cut ties due to a war with Mexico. United States imports from Mexico were 459 billion US dollars during 20 last year, according to United Nations Common Trade Database on International Trade. This is a sort of materials that take um, US imports from there. Vehicles other than railway, tramway, 111 billion. Vehicles other than Machinery, nuclear reactors and boilers, electrical, equi electrical electronic equipment, mineral fuels, oil, distillation products, 
So a lot of mechanical materials they import from Mexico. And uh, of course the US has also been rattling the saber against China, so let's see another one, another country they outsourced jobs to, um, their industrial base to, so let's see what they get from them. Uh, this is the same trading economic site but with regards to imports from China. Last year they took imports from China were 575 billion last year. They import 145 billion dollars worth of electrical and electronic equipments between um, 79 plus uh, 145 225 billion dollars worth. Yeah, they also take in a lot of machinery, nuclear reactors and boilers, uh, toys, games, sports requisites. Probably not something, there's probably something the US could live without, but a lot of these other things they are pretty much are uh, needed to run an economy. Furniture, lights, lighting signs, prefabricated buildings. Prefabricated buildings are useful as a furniture. But again, you can probably get by with what you've got. Plastics is important. Again, more vehicles. So yes, US imports a lot of mechanical and electrical equipment from these countries it is toying with waging war against. So definitely doesn't look good for the US. A lot of idiots at the helm. Uh, I shall leave links to these articles down in the description. And thank you for watching. And I shall see you next time.